the Nokia 110 4G 2023 and 2021. Which one's the best? And a very quick guide. As you can see, it's roughly the same size as the previous model, the 2021. They've improved the look of it. Lovely camera bezel. A nice textured coating. But there are some vast improvements. The main improvements that the 2023 edition now has Bluetooth capabilities and a much bigger battery. One of the functions this phone has lost is the, the readout option. Speech on, volume, voice. Great. Speech on. One vast improvement is the screen viewing angles. Most of the other items are the same. You still have the same old Opera browser. Still have the same contact, text messaging, phone calls. Still has good snake. Slightly different that this one only keeps one high score, whilst this one keeps your top five high scores from each level. The Bluetooth can be used for phone calls and music, but strangely, not the radio. Both of them have a radio which doesn't need to have headphones plugged in. But you do get superior results with a headphone plugged in. My advice, if you're going to use the music player on both phones, don't go through the app because you just have to be looking through loads and loads of scrolling. I tend to just go straight to file manager, audio, and you can go straight to your music and play stuff straight away. The phone is very fast in action. Sound from the speakers is quite good. Not loud, but pleasing. Let's take a photograph. Everything tends to look like potatoes. Oh, it was. Seriously though, it can't it can take shots and they're legible. It'd be okay if you wanted to get like a number plate or something like that. But you've got to remember the price of the phone. I think they could put in a one megapixel camera and that would have been acceptable, but this is, is a camera, and that's all you can say. The core quality has been very good. I tend to use it on 2G, because in the UK we still have 2G, and the battery lasts and lasts and lasts. But 4G does produce clearer phone calls. There is a built-in weather app. 
and some bloatware, which I even tried. As for extras, it's the usual, a world clock, timer, unit converter, and uh, you're limited to what you can uh, put in, a calculator, a very basic one, calendar, which is only used for storing stuff within the phone, it cannot sync to Google Calendar or Microsoft Calendar or anything like that. A voice recorder. And that's about it. It has a Facebook icon on the home screen. But all that is, is a page from the Opera browser. I wish I could remove it. Because you wouldn't need it even if you use Facebook. Because you might as well just go straight to the browser. But overall, a very good phone. To access the torch, you can either go to extras Torch on, torch off, or what I do from the home screen after I unlocked it, just long press the up navy key and then long press to turn it off. This is only a short run through. Any questions, please ask. Bye for now.